Xiaomi is starting to become a household brand and most people today actually heard of Xiaomi before. Following up from our last week's video on the Logitech X50, today we're going to take a look at another budget competitor in the Bluetooth speaker space, the Xiaomi Xiaoi Bluetooth speaker. We're going to unbox this and also to see whether this speaker is any good compared to the Logitech X50. So stay tuned for an unboxing as well as a review of this speaker. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of tech reviews and unboxing. And if that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to my channel and leave a thumbs up on this video. So let's take a look at an unboxing and review of this speaker. So today we're taking a look at the Xiaomi Xiaoi Bluetooth speaker. And this is one of the smallest Bluetooth speakers that Xiaomi actually make and personally before I actually got this unit I didn't expect it to be so small and this is actually quite tiny in comparison to many of the budget Bluetooth speakers. But this entire thing is actually a transparent case and at the front you can see the speakers there some Xiaomi branding around nothing on every side and at the back uh, you can see that there are some specifications saying that this is actually Bluetooth 4.2 and some information about Xiaomi. So let's take a look at this uh, speakers and do an unboxing and see what actually comes inside the box. So here I have my trusty blade. Okay, let's just put that aside. And this is the speakers themselves. So overall, the speaker actually feels very high quality on the hand. There's actually quite a weight to it, uh, which is actually a good sign, uh, considering that these, these cheaper speakers are actually usually very badly made. But like I said earlier, Xiaomi is starting to become a household name and an international brand. So I think they do uh, focus a lot on making their stuff high quality. All right. so inside the box, there is this uh, Xiaomi speaker itself. Now let's just open up this part. You get a strap so you can actually strap the speakers uh, on and you can hang it uh, somewhere while playing the music uh, user manual inside the box. So the user manual unfortunately only comes in Mandarin. So there is no English. It's going to take some time to understand what's inside here, but it doesn't matter. We'll figure that out together. And let's just put all of this aside and take a look at the speakers themselves. The first thing we want to talk about is actually the design of the speakers. And as you can see, this thing actually looks quite amazing. There's very nice cutout patterns here for the speaker grill and that allows the sound to actually come out from. And in the middle of it, you can see the Xiaomi design there. The Xiaomi logo is in the middle. So at the side here, there's nothing much uh, except for this micro USB uh, charging port. And on the front, there's this LED light to actually show you some indication of the speakers so in terms of design Xiaomi usually makes very minimalist uh, designs and in that sense this is actually a very minimalist and simple speakers these speakers actually come in white and I don't see a black version around but anyway this is actually a very beautiful speaker in white. I've got this speaker for 39 ringgit Malaysia and for that price I'm absolutely amazed with the build quality and of course in a little bit more we'll actually start listening to how this thing actually sounds like uh, and you know we can actually test it together with some of the Bluetooth speaker that we actually looked at last week which is the Logitech X50 and we'll also take a look at it together with the JBL Go and let's see how all of this compares. In terms of specification the Xiaomi Xiaoi speaker actually comes with a 300 mAh battery and in the manual itself it says that it is rated for four hours of music playback at 70 percent volume considering the size uh, four hours is actually not too bad given that we don't usually listen to music at 70 percent all the time i think this thing can actually last longer than the rated four hours the xiaomi xiaomi bluetooth speaker is also not water resistant so try not to get water splashes onto the unit itself to always protect this and not allowing water to actually seep in it will 
would be great if in the future Xiaomi will actually release a Bluetooth speaker somewhere around this price range with a better sounding driver and also you know water resistance so you can actually use this around the pool you know if you're going out on a day to the beach with your family this is actually a great speaker to actually bring about and also at its price point even if let's say sand were to go in and you know you were to unfortunately uh, destroy it you won't actually feel that bad considering that this is not a five six hundred dollar speaker so with that said let's start connecting this speaker to our phone and let's see how the sound quality actually sounds like in order to connect the xiaomi shell i so you turn the device around and you will see a on off button so push the on off button for two seconds and there will be a prompt saying that the speaker is actually turned on so the next thing you do is press scan and it should actually detect the speakers themselves and you can then click on it to connect once the speaker is connected one thing i note is that the volume actually goes to 100 percent so from there on you have to adjust it so that it doesn't get too loud so that's how you connect to the bluetooth Xiaomi Shell I. You can see that the process of connecting to Bluetooth is actually quite simple and you can actually see the percentage of the battery right on the Bluetooth device itself. So unlike the Logitech X50 that we uh, reviewed last week, that doesn't allow you to actually see the connected uh, Bluetooth device's battery level. But in this case, the Xiaomi supports that feature. So now that we have connected our a Bluetooth speaker to our phone the next thing we want to do is actually test the sound quality so previously I've already played some samples on this Xiaomi speaker to just to test it out and my first reaction when I first hear the sound coming out from this thing it's that it puts a smile on my face the thing is that this thing is actually really small and really tiny so you don't really expect too much out of it but once I started playing, I realized that the sound quality is actually superb. The speaker actually has a very clear clarity. So the highs and the vocals are really good. The only downside of it is that the bass is actually a little bit lacking. There are some hints of low ends, but you cannot expect too much from a speaker this size. Overall, the sound quality really blows you off. This speaker doesn't really go too loud. Of course, despite its size, that is actually a given so let's just take a look at how this speaker sounds and later on we will actually do a comparison with some of the other speakers that we actually unboxed previously and we can see how it actually performs uh, with one another So one of the things about these cheap Bluetooth speakers is that sometimes their sound quality is not that good. But you can see from the a video that I've shown you earlier that the sound quality comparing to some of the bigger boys, of course, is actually comparable. So considering that this actually has a smaller driver compared to the Logitech as well as the JBL, I still think that this actually performs pretty well comparing to those bigger boys. Some of the problems as well of small budget Bluetooth speakers is that it probably has latency issues so I do not know whether or not this thing has latency issues so later I'll be actually showing you a clip to actually test out whether or not these speakers is actually good for watching videos uh, over YouTube and so on and so forth so I think let's take a look at this clip to see whether or not this Bluetooth speaker actually has a latency problem right here and I'm standing with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, star of the new movie, 
Rampage. Rampage. You are so good uh, at action roles. You were born to be an action star. You really were. Check this out. Yeah. This is a picture of you. I think this is you at 15 years old. That is me at 15. And you yes. can just see action star. Now, let's contrast that. This is me at 22. <laughs> I don't know if you see Action Star. You don't yeah. see Action Star? No, you see By Curious. Now listen, I was, and, and I'll be honest with you, uh, Dwayne, I still am. <laughs> I have a lot of questions. So I think you can see from that clip earlier on that there is a really, really slight amount of delay. There's a delay nonetheless. So whether or not it's suitable for watching a video, in my opinion, I kind of still enjoy that clip a lot. And I think that very minute delay in in terms of the latency is actually not so much of a big deal considering that this thing is actually really really cheap and if you have uh, one of these to bring around uh, for holidays i think that little bit of latency really doesn't matter and i think that's actually a very good thing that xiaomi actually made this thing so great and the software that is running inside this uh, xiaomi is actually pretty awesome so i think this sums up the review and unboxing of this a Xiaomi Xiao I Bluetooth speaker. Uh, all in all, I think that this is a really great speaker. In terms of build quality, this thing actually is on point. Every plastic piece here is actually really nice and high quality. Uh, the sound that it produces is also very high quality in terms of the vocals and the high. Those are amazing. Of course, this thing lacks a little bit in terms of the bass response. But considering that the driver is so small, uh, that is actually a fact that uh, most Bluetooth speakers at this size actually suffers from. Comparing this to the bigger boys such as the Logitech X50 as well as the JBL, I think that Xiaomi is actually putting themselves out there to actually stand out of the crowd. And if you were to ask me, I still quite prefer the sound of the Logitech X50 given that the size is much bigger and it actually produces a much nicer sound compared to this. But again, this thing is not bad on its own. So for 40 ringgit, should you get this speaker? In my opinion, why not get it and try it out for yourself? I think this could be a very good spare speaker that you can bring around for holidays. Just throw it into your pocket. It doesn't even take up much of a space and you guys can enjoy great music for your holidays. And this thing actually goes loud enough to actually fill up a small living room. So all in all, this is a great speaker and you know, I think you should really consider getting one of these. So thank you for watching this video and this will be the review and unboxing of the Xiaomi Xiaomi Bluetooth speaker. Thank you and see you in the next video.